honestly before i start just a disclaimer here if you are one of these players i think you are a complete noob you don't have the skills needed to perform good with your power that is why you are using such cheap tactics to get easy games uh, it is one of the most toxic things that you can experience inside of diablo immortal and that today that is what we are talking about so originally i wasn't planning on making any video about this because it has been happening for a very long time but there is one of the big reels who reached out to me and shared a few reels who are using these cheap as tactics to get easy games so let me quickly change the screen here just starting my season for pvp we were versus uh, uh, necromancer necromancer and uh, barbarian barbarian and who we have another necro demon hunter blood knight and necro i mean all that is fine i don't mind it uh, uh, getting bunch of necro barbarian that is how it works right now inside of Diablo Immortal, but the most toxic thing uh, that happened, let me quickly forward this. There we go. Our team got slaughtered, and uh, there were person on the other side, Necromancer, with seen up time for the red form. I don't have any issues with that as well. That is fine. You are using a really powerful build. Nothing. Uh, that uh, the players can do it is up to the developer to balance things out but if we go towards the end you guys can see they end up slaughtering our team necromancer on their side 16 1 13 0 22 and uh thank goodness i did not die to one of these uh noobs who had so much more power compared to me but no skills so uh, this person here dark skeleton or something whatever if we go take a look at uh, his account towards the end there we go i was taking a look and uh, there we go go down and uh, he was using 4900 resonance and uh, his armor is 7300 armor penetration 9800 and 8300 resistance on the left side you can see he has removed his uh, life and damage gems to reduce his life and damage which is considered when you are matchmaking so this guy wasn't even the top considered the top player on the other side with the secondary stats what i can tell you this was uh, one of the worst uh, necromancer players i have seen out there no skills at all that explained why he was uh, using such cheap as tactics to go versus a uh, weaker player and uh, still unable to get me even once i mean that explained a lot my secondary stats compared to this is dog shit and uh, his uptime for the rat form was about 80 to 85 person he is using blessed people he is using legendary rune to get the skill cooldown and uh, all the stuff that basically give you that uh, beneficial duration and cooldown for the rat form still unable to get me even once if we scroll back he tried so very hard i got the mvp on the losing team tried to support but there wasn't much the team could do because uh, the top players on the boss side had insane amount of uh, rat form uptime and uh, the secondary stats so this is something that blizzard needs to fix so these type of players cannot try and match versus weaker players because uh, with their full power this person with his full power i believe so is above 10 or 11k resonance that is what another rail told me in a dm and uh, told me that this person is 11,000 
or 10,000 resonance, bus muffing all the way down to 4,900 resonance to try and manipulate the matchmaking system. I mean, that is so toxic, but I guess when you are really, really bad, even after spending so much money, you need to use some cheap ass tactics to fight with this weaker player and still unable to do good i mean that is a shame anyhow i'm signing off see you all in the next one i'm sure there will be some player in the comment section uh defending such uh, cheap ass tactics but you know what you can reduce uh some resonance that is fine you try and use different gems to reduce the combat rating by maybe 500 1000 points that is completely fine new gems comes in you have to destroy the older one and get the newer one that is fine or you are using a everlasting which is really strong for the dot gems uh, that makes sense that you need to remove one of your uh, big gem to put the everlasting that is fine but going to the point where you reduce your resonance from 11,000 all the way to 4,000 and keeping those secondary stats I mean that is just cheap as technique I'm signing off see you all in the next one you guys have a great day later